Australians, we love the great outdoors. As Australians, we are aware of UV exposure while outdoors, and we take steps to protect ourselves. There are, however, disorders where sun and UV light have a more acute impact upon skin. With high UV exposure in Australia, um, we have the highest incidence of skin cancer in the world. It's so high, in fact, that one in two of us will develop a skin cancer at some time during our life. I've been in the pharmaceutical industry for nearly 30 years and, and most of that time I've worked on the development of drugs uh, for patients who've been unable to receive you know, appropriate therapies. One of the disorders that has had uh, special attention from uh, Clinivell is erythropoietic protoporphyria or EPP. Now, EPP is a genetic disease and the patients suffer intolerable pain when, when their skin is exposed to light. In this case, it's light in the blue spectrum, which is close to the ultraviolet spectrum, that's, that's the major problem. Their skin literally burns. Well, light's composed of, of photons or light rays, and each of these is, um, is characterised by its wavelength. Now, now lighter radiation in the range of um, 400 to 700 nanometers is called visible light, and a subsection of that 408 nanometers um, is blue light, and, and the blue light is of particular concern to patients with EPP. Radiation at this wavelength acutely affects the skin of these patients, resulting in phototoxic reactions. Humans produce red blood cells or erythrocytes, and these contain haemoglobin, which is pivotal for the transportation of oxygen around the body. One of the steps in haemoglobin production is the generation of heme. In a normal individual, heme is formed by the combination of protoporphyrin-9 and iron. This reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called ferrochelatase. In EPP patients, the ferrochelatase enzyme is either missing or deficient, and this results in a buildup of protoporphyrin-9 and a deficiency of heme. While protoporphyrin-9 builds up around the body of EPP patients, uh, the effects are most dramatic in the liver and the skin. In the liver it can cause liver damage and ultimately liver failure uh, and in the skin it can cause acute reactions called phototoxic reactions. In the presence of light there is interaction between protoporphyrin-9 and this results in the production of free oxygen radicals and these are reactive chemicals which damage cells, capillaries and blood vessels in the skin. This results in, in immediate intense burning pain and can cause skin ulcerations. Where uh, light exposure is unavoidable, for instance in a, a, a car journey where their exposure to the sun is beyond minutes, um, these patients can suffer large lesions or ulcerations on their face uh, and this can cause visible scarring. In the past five years as, as Vice President of Scientific Affairs I've, I've learned of the suffering of adults and children and I've especially learned of, of I guess the anguish that parents go through when they have a child who has symptoms but they, uh, they don't have a diagnosis. To date no treatment has been proven to effectively prevent or alleviate these symptoms. EPP patients have little option other than to avoid sunlight by spending daylight hours indoors and away from windows or find shade while completely covering up with thick clothing hats, masks and gloves. Continued research into light-related diseases by Clinival is being conducted with promising results. For now, Clinival seems to be able to offer aphromelanotide as a preventative treatment and, and this is being tested in the clinical trials in, in Europe and Australia. The feedback from physicians and patients after, after 12 months is, is really quite remarkable. Um, most patients have requested uh, the use of the drug beyond the end of the clinical trials uh, for an indefinite period. So for me, it's actually very encouraging to be able to be leading a, a clinical program that appears to be making a difference to the lives of EPP patients. Clinival is an Australian company working to provide medicinal photo protection. As an Australian company, we understand the needs of Australians to enjoy the great outdoors and the needs of people globally who are acutely affected by UV and light-related disorders.